welcome again to Chair Interval Training, brought to you safely in your own home by Community Access Yellow Springs and the Yellow Springs Senior Center. And me, Lynn Hardman, I'm an ACE certified, that's American Council on Exercise, and Silver Seekers Flex Instructor. Flex is a program that brings you evidence-based exercise safely to your place where you are so that you don't need to travel a lot when there's, let's say, a pandemic or winter icy weather. So this is uh, yet another choice that you can make to balance your life out. And we're going to talk about balance a lot today, but first I want to show you my Yellow Spring Schools um, mask and encourage you to wear your mask wherever you are. You want to stay safe, right? And I am so proud of our local leaders throughout this pandemic and, and throughout the election cycle, which is at least decided now, although we must still exercise patience. You might have missed my um, final notes uh, from last week's session. You could always go back and see it on the YouTube Community Access Yellow Springs um, channel, and you can access all kinds of local information there. I encourage you to. You'll get Corona updates. You get updates on Village News so you don't feel left out when you can't go and be heard in person safely. And uh, with regard to safety, here we are again. I must remind you, consult your physician before you begin this or any new exercise program. If you feel dizzy or out of balance at any time, it's recommended you return or remain in your sturdy chair. You will need a chair, a sturdy chair, a safe, clear area to exercise in. Today we're going to be using our tubing and some hand weights, or I recommend a jug. This is a gallon and a quarter filled to the um, amount of weight you want for resistance training, for strength, okay? Because we are going to work on cardiovascular strength, flexibility, and balance today, and stress reduction because we all need balance in our lives, just like we need balance in our diet. I'm out of dahlias, but hey, I'm still growing fresh kale and we're having it tonight for dinner. I wish I could invite you over, but it's not the right time. Maybe after all this, we'll have a big fall harvest next year, <laughs> or maybe a summer one. Anyway, get yourself ready to exercise. Make sure you got sturdy shoes on that are appropriate to this activity. If you have any questions at all, my number is in the red book, or you can email me. Um, many of you are on my list, or you can contact the Allspring Senior Center and, and ask how you might reach me from there. They have many services for you. And I am so proud of our local institutions that have been really just digging their heels in and giving it their all. So, but to that, we need balance. So let's get started with a focus on balance today. Um, I always do that. We have to start it out this way. We're gonna focus on posture because best posture makes for better balance. It also makes for better breathing and we're going to move our bodies very gradually, just maybe marching in place, making sure our area is free and clear of clutter that we might slip, trip, or fall on, making sure we can see with our peripheral vision and touch our chair as a safety net. Swinging our arms, if we need one on the chair at all times, we swing that other one. We can just take a nice deep breath and slowly, gradually see what range of motion feels good to us today. Maybe your hands can go with ease well over your head, or maybe not. Maybe one of your shoulders doesn't want to go that high. And then just work with it. Adapt, modify, stand up, sit down, Fight, 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 but never give up. You can move in your chair the entire time and that would be great. 
Now, if you want, I'm gonna come in front of my chair just for a bit, but I want you to stay right next to yours or behind it. If you widen out your stance a bit and sink into your hips, knees, and ankles, you got a little mini squat. And we can push side to side and really feel the floor. Dig in with the balls of your feet and your toes. And then lift your shoulder. Let me give you a rounded back. Again, you can see how it feels to make that range of motion gradually bigger. I was gonna be recording this class outside today in my yard, but everybody was out and um, taking a nice ride and seeing the fall colors or mowing their lawn because even though we're well into November, the grass is still growing. Hmm. Maybe open and close your chest. Excellent. Maybe rotate through the spine, pulling the navel in, keeping the chest up, and reaching across your body. If it feels good, you can go ahead and gradually reach up, up, up a little higher. Are you still pulsing down into those hips? Gotta warm those legs and hips up. Then you can bring it down gradually. Good, we've been moving a little bit. I wanna take some time to preview a couple of patterns that we'll use. I'm gonna come back over here to my chair so I can use it as my balance safety check. We're gonna do a pattern we've done before. We're gonna take it a step further. It's called single, single, double. We can do it with a little knee lift and then a double. So we're going right, left, and then double right. Left, right, double left. Now we've got our chair right there where we can see it and touch it should we need it. We can also tap our toe down when we do that double. But we're gonna take this pattern and do double, double. So two, we're balancing longer, two. And then four, three, two. Do that again, double, double. Four, three, two. Now try four, four. Four, three, two. Wow. Four, three, two. And then we'll do eight, but we're just warming up. So march it out or shake your legs. Did you feel that on your quadriceps? I did. We're gonna do another exercise that will focus a little bit on balance and good cardio. If you come behind your chair, we're gonna do our good old pattern called skate fly. Stay behind your chair, use it, keep moving. I'm gonna come in front of the chair so you can see what I'm doing with my feet. There we go. Take your right foot and just tap it back and then the left. As if you're a skater. There you go. We're going slow and kind of low, just as low as you like to go. You can always go at your own pace, but let's try it at tempo. There we go. And we'll do this for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Then we're gonna kick our heels up and do eight flying. I call this flying. Four more, three, two, and then we'll skate and we'll cut it down to four, three, two, one, and then fly for four. And skate for just two, and fly for two. And then we'll cut it down to one. And then eventually we'll freeze and balance. That's where we're going. When we get to our five minute aerobic interval, that's one of the patterns we'll use. You can modify all of these moves or substitute your own in your chair. So, we're gonna sit down and do some dynamic stretches, but I'll show you that you can indeed get a great aerobic active interval while in your chair. If you like, you could do a couple squats, but do get your heels and lower legs very close to the chair. Close enough you can actually feel it. That way you're in good position should you lose your balance. 
All right. So down, down a bit. Whenever we're seated, it's a great time to get some water. If you're already thirsty like me, try to step to the side, lean to the side, and support your spine by bracing with your abdominals and holding some of that weight of your upper body with your arms. Remember, if anything hurts, don't do it. You can always go back to the last thing that you did that felt good for you. Or just do your best and then rest. But if you're seated, sit near the edge of your chair. Best posture by stretching the crown of your head up and stretch out your right leg and your left. Ah, pull your navel in as if you're buckling a tight safety belt and snug it up. And then see how it feels to stick the sole of your foot in the air while still stretching the crown of the head up. Good, let's push down, down. Pull the navel in, lift the head up, but not the chin. Good, we're going nice and slow that if you wanted to, we could just wiggle our foot and push, push. So just wiggle your ankle joint or flex point, flex, push and push. So we're gonna, like, this is actually a lot of activity seated for me. I hope it's enough for you or not too much for you. Let's do one more each leg. And then just stretch out that leg, the right side. Stretch the crown of the head up. As if you were a marionette or a puppet and a string is lengthening your torso. If your arm hurts, you can shorten that lever. But keep your back long and strong as you hinge halfway forward. Perhaps reaching forward, lifting your fingers and toes. And let's wave low. Try to articulate at the wrist and the ankle. Spreading your fingers and toes. Good. Sit tall. Zip up imaginary tight pants. But breathe as you lean back and draw your knee toward your chest. And draw circles with your foot. Again, ankle mobility is very important for our balance. Switch those circle directions. Excellent. And sit tall. Let's get that left leg. Stretched out, extended, supporting our weight on the right lap. Lengthening through the spine, keeping that length as we hinge gradually halfway toward that lap. And reach forward, back with the tailbone, forward with the nose, lifting our fingers and toes. And then perhaps waving or rotating right and left. Good, sitting tall, hold the navel in as if you're zipping up those tight pants again. Lean back, drawing the knee to the chest to stretch the back of the hip, and drawing circles with your left foot. Circling at the ankle, primarily, and then the other direction. Okay, let's take a deep breath as we open our chest that's when we inhale, because it's easier, makes sense. And then as we close our chest, that's when we exhale. That will become more relevant when we're doing our strength work. But if you are concerned about whether you're breathing right or not, don't worry. Just inhale, exhale, and repeat. <laughs> we're going to use a scale of 1 being the lowest intensity and 10 being the highest to rate our perceived exertion. We don't really necessarily want to be a one, because that means we're not getting much exercise. And we definitely don't want to be a nine or a 10, that means we're working too hard and that might be dangerous. The benefits of our exercise program must always outweigh the risks. So keep listening to your body, just like you keep gathering information and making the best decisions you can at the time with that information, okay? So I'll be asking you frequently, maybe three or four times, how are you doing? When you're there in your own home, I want you to say it out loud. Call out your number. 
Ideally, a four to a seven or eight is perfect. That means you feel good, you can continue exercising at a four. At an eight, you're not sure you can continue at that pace. So you'll have to slow down or sit down. Does that make sense? Of course it does. Now, if you want to work in your chair, you can try the single, single, double, sitting at the edge of your seat, lifting your knees. Those of you who know you want to get up and be on your feet, do take your time. Do situate yourself over here on the right side of the chair. Those of you who continue to stay exercising in your chair, sit tall and make a note. As you do these kneeless in the chair or you're marching in the chair, these thigh muscles get a little tired, so you might have to be creative and draw your heels back or kick your heels out. But do your best and then eventually, when you need, take a rest and join back in when you can. Little by little, you'll get stronger. Your stamina will improve because we know this. This is an evidence-based exercise program. We'll get better with practice. So, over on the right-hand side, those of you who are doing your single, single doubles, right, left, double, single, single, double. Good, single, single, double. You can make it big by pumping those arms overhead, but you still got your balance, check. You can even add a little skippity-doo, or a little mock jump with a little flexion in your knees and coming up to the balls of your feet. Good, let's do one more single, single, double. Now double, double, four. Double, double. We're gonna get going, four, three, two, one. Now double. Got our chair if we need it. Four, three, two. Let's try four each side. Four, three, two. And other side, four, three, two. Can we do eights? Eight, seven, do your best. Six, five, four, I see you. Three, two, four each side. Four, three, two. Stand all, four, three, two. Last set of eight with these knee lifts. How many more? Four, three, two. Woo, shake a leg. I felt that on my quadriceps, my hip flexors working hard to lift our legs. How about you on a scale of one to 10? How are you doing with your breathing? Your heart rate? Can you talk? You gotta talk, that's the talk test. All right, we're gonna do that again, but with a focus on the rear muscles of the legs. So get in behind your chair, get in your nice mini squat, and we're gonna do a little hamstring curl, double. Single, single, double. I had to make a little room for me. Single, single, double. You got your chair if you need it. You can also tap your toe down. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. We'll do one more single, single, double. Big rowing motion if you please. Now double, double, two each side. And then four, four, three, two. Let's do that again. Double, we're balancing. Double, doing our best. Four, three, two. Let's do four each side. Four, three, two. Switch. Four, three, two. How about eight? Eight, seven. Can you count with me? Count down. Four, three, two. Four each side. I'm getting warm. Switch, four, three. Last set of eight here with the hamstring curls. Four more, four, three, two, woo! How are you doing now? You still feeling good? Can you pass the talk test? I need to hear you. If you need a break, there's no shame in that. Just have a seat. We'll catch up to you sooner or later. We're gonna do that pattern one more time. This time we're gonna try it with hips. Now, this is gonna be challenging because our legs are long and when they're straight, our hip muscles will have to do more work. You can always bend your knee or substitute any other movement you like. 
but get wide behind your chair in your nice low athletic triple flexion or mini squat and we'll do single single double single single double just one more time with a single single double now twos to each side guard chair if we need it pull the navel in four three two again to each side double and four three two now four each side we're doubling up Woo, keep that foot towards flex switch to the other side now eight all on the right seven six five do your best four three two four each side Woo, this is hard switch we're balancing now eight on the left seven six five four three two Woo! if you like you can come on over here to the left and stretch that left hip out a bit we're shooting for a 10 minute window of aerobic activity because research shows that that will strengthen our heart and lungs if you need to take a break before that do it but we're going to try it again with our knees actually let's do a little kick your kick can be very, very low. I don't suggest making it too high. Keep the navel pulled in, head stacked right over the shoulders. And we'll do single, single, double, 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 fours, and then four, four, eights. You got this. Last posture, able to touch the chair. Let's kick that left leg. Single, single, double, four. Single, single, double. Now to each side, double double now four four three two switch double double now four three you got your chair two four each side four three two switch four three two eight on the left seven six woo four five four three two four each side four three two other side four three two eight on the right Woo. four more four three two Woo. march it out how are you feeling eight is great isn't it that was a lot of balance work let me see where we're at with our time stamp all right I think we can transition to our chair and work on our strength training there. So the chair is, if you like, you can think of it as a machine, like when you go into the gym and there's strength training machines and your pulleys are there or just hand weights or big huge plates. The chair is one of those strength machines. So we're going to use our body weight and we're going to use our band. Actually, we're in, yeah, our body weight and our band first. So line your heels up very close with that chair so that you can work on your best body weight exercise. This is a strength exercise, squats. Heels and legs touching the chair. Keep your chin up, maybe spot a point across the room. Or if you want to extend your hands in front and keep your eyes on the hands. Keep your weight solid in both feet equal, all parts of the feet. Heels should stay firmly rooted in the floor. And toes can feel like they're almost like pulling the floorboards apart, not inward. Or don't let the knees knock. That was a lot of information. This is the best time when we're seated to get a sip of water. We want to keep sipping throughout our exercise. That will keep us hydrated, especially today was rather warm, but when we have extreme temperatures and when we turn on our heat in our homes, we tend to get more dehydrated. Hydration is so key to your health and your balance. All right, we are going to use our tubing. If you don't have tubing, you can just do this with your body. We're going to do some options of doing an upper body exercise and a lower body exercise. 
or just one or the other, or putting them together. And you know what else you could also choose? Neither. Once you feel you've done your best, just take a little break and we'll catch up. We're gonna do a chest press. So when we do this, you'll have the option of squatting. So you'll want to place your heels right on the front legs of your chair and your hips well back in your seat. Today I'm using one that doesn't have triangles, but wherever you are with your tubing, just take your time to put it behind your back and situate it underneath your arms so it's coming out under the armpit. You can grab the tubing by the handles, but that might not give you the desired resistance to make it challenging enough. So you could grab it closer to the shoulder joint to make it more challenging for you. As you close your chest and extend your arms at the elbows, you're exhaling. As you open your chest and bend at the elbows and reach those elbows back, you're inhaling. Exhale, inhale, repeat. I like to pull my navel in and curl my spine ever so slightly with this to involve the whole body. If you like, you could think about digging your heels in. When your hands are forward, should you choose to squat, that's when you'll be sitting back down. So let's just try it. If we're standing, we're reaching our hips down but not sitting and pushing, whoops. So hands come in as our hips go back. Or you could do it the other way, it's up to you. It may work better that your hands are forward. Thank you very much, teacher, that's what I told you. <laughs> okay, yeah, do it your way. If anything hurts, sharp, sudden shooting pain, then that's not a good choice for you today. But you could always try it again another time and it might work for you. Just do your best with what you've got today within your abilities and your energy. And then when you're done with that, take a break. That was a bit. So we are doing chest presses, which use the front of our body. We're gonna do some pull downs, which use our upper back, these big lat muscles and the biceps, okay? And again, you'll have an option to do a squat, but maybe we better give our upper body a break. Yeah, I think so. Let's do that. And while we're doing it, let's give our lower body some work. Stepping on the tubing, coming to the edge of the seat. You've got an equal length of tube on the outside of either lower leg. Crisscross your tubing. Sit tall. And bring your hands close to your abdomen. Tuck your tailbone under and lean back. Good. Pull the navel in, tuck the chin slightly, and do a little abdominal slide. You can feel, if your hands are right next to your abdomen, that it's bracing while you exhale and inhale. Keep that navel pulling in like if you're zipping up imaginary tight pants. Now, if you like, we're gonna add a hip abduction Keeping the knee over the ankle to the right as we come up and to the left. So we're doing, maintaining that abdominal brace, pulling the navel in. If you like, you could squeeze your elbows back and squeeze a little quarter between your shoulder blades. Now you could just be doing the abdominal slides or you could, be isolating the hip exercise, or you could be doing the shoulder blade squeezes, or you could put any of those three together. And, ooh, that was a bit of work. So we were strengthening hip abductors, upper back and rear shoulders and biceps, and then abdominals. Make sure you release the tension on your tube. We're gonna scooch well back into our chair should you choose to put a squat together with your lat pull downs. Now, I recommend holding the handles and then grabbing the tubing so you have approximately shoulder width between your hands. 
We're gonna have our hips well back in the seat, feet touching the front legs of the chair, should we choose to squat. Then we're gonna keep the shoulders from hunching, settle them down, and reach at an angle that suits your shoulders comfort, maybe to where the wall meets the ceiling, and stretch some tension on that band as you pull it apart and tuck your elbows back. Inhale, exhale. Or just breathe at your own normal rate, but don't hold your breath. That is counterproductive, maybe even dangerous. So if you wanted to add a squat, your hips will be back while your hands are forward and your hips are up while your hands come down. So we're reaching those hips back, digging our heels in, keeping our head in neutral position, engaging our core and really squeezing those shoulder blades together behind you. So last week we worked on letters. It kind of looks like a letter V with the arms, a letter W. Do your favorite number of repetitions more until you feel like you are just about toast. <laughs> like when we do our strength exercise, you should feel a little wobbly, maybe a little bit of muscle soreness, sort of a dull achy over the body of the muscle, but never ever sharp sudden shooting pain. That means stop. And speaking of stop, we're gonna stop using our band tubing. You can hang that up. Take your time as you step to the side, engage your core, brace with your arm, and grab a little bit of water. If nothing hurts while we're doing the strength training, I kind of want to encourage you to work a little harder on our 1 to 10 scale, because strength training is a different kind of a balance of exercise than cardiovascular. We're going to do another cardiovascular vascular, um, interval. So the, the strength training has a set of exercises is less than a minute. So it's a little bit more like a power uh, and getting strength to do maximal effort or submaximal effort. Whereas cardiovascular, heart and lungs, is about endurance and just hanging in there. We need that, don't we? Okay, we're gonna skate and fly. Those of you who wanna be on your feet, you know who you are. Situate yourself behind your chair, please. Make sure your area is free and clear of stuff. If you're seated in your chair, gotta be at the edge of your seat. Best posture, whether you're seated or standing. And take your right leg and just cross slow behind slightly, or just a little step tap, as if you're skating. You can get down with it slow, or you can take it to tempo. We're gonna do eight of these. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now kick your heels up and fly. Eight, seven, six, five. You can make it bigger as little as you like. Let's do that again. Skate, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, fly. I'm gonna to transition to my feet. You keep working, four, three, two, skate for four, three, two, fly, four, three, two, four again, skate. Let me get myself situated and fly. You can get up on the balls of your feet. If it feels good, you can get down to the ground and that makes it a little more intense. For those of you who want more challenge and you're ready for it today, Fly for four. Skate for four. Fly. Skate. I'm getting tired of fours. Let's try two of each. Fly for two. Skate for two. Fly for two. Skate for two. Fly. Excellent, let's do that again. Break it down, one each way. Fly, skate, fly, skate, 
I somehow messed that up, but that's okay. <laughs> Four more at tempo. Three, two, one. Let's slow it down. Fly and skate and got our chair if we need. And let's freeze in our flying position. We always can put our toe down if we need. And let's freeze in our skate position. We can always grab the chair if we want. Ooh, how'd that feel? March it out. Give me a number, one to 10. Low intensity is one, highest is 10. I can't hear you. <laughs> I wish I could hear you. We're gonna do that again. We're gonna take our right foot back and left. Right and left. One more time slow. Ready for tempo? Here we go. How about eight, seven, six? You know what? I got all, I don't know how I did that. Don't worry. I'll figure it out. I know, reset. I'm gonna hit my reset button. <laughs> Let's try this again. I got the beat. Right and left. Thank you very much for your patience. We all need to exercise patience at this time as well as exercising our body. Eight, seven, you can get down with it if you like. Four, three, two, fly, kick your heels up. Keep your chin up. Four, three, two, one more set in eights. Down low. Four more. Four, three, two, fly for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, skate for four, four, three, two, fly, four, three, two, do it again, please, if you like. Fly, kick those heels up. One more set of fours, down low, and up high. All right, let's try two, skate for two, fly. Two, do it again. Twos. How are you doing? Twos. Skate. Fly. One more set of twos. And now we're gonna cut it down to one down and one up. Woo. You can get down low at tempo four more times. Three. Two, then we're gonna slow it down. Skate, got your chair. Fly, got your chair. Freeze in your skate pose. Freeze in your fly pose. Oh, you're looking fly. <laughs> How are you feeling, however? If you're huffy puffy, it's time to sit down, catch your breath. If you wanna keep moving on your feet, Let's try it again, but this time let's go from ones all the way back up to eight. Okay, so we're gonna go down, up, cross back right, lift left. One more set slow, are you ready for tempo? Here we go, one of each. Skate, fly, skate, fly. Great, looking good. Four more like that. Three, two, good. Now double down, two skates, two flies. Skate, skate, fly, fly. Good, one more set of twos. Skate for four, three, two, fly. Nice, one more set of fours. How are you doing? Can you talk while you fly? I hope so. Eight, skate, seven, six, five, four, three, two, fly. Eight, can you talk with me? How many? Four, three, two, let's freeze. Woo. Got our chair. Let's freeze in our skate position. 
chest up, balancing on one leg or a curtsy. Thank you very much. All right, check with yourself. Self, where am I? Do I want to do it one more time? Can I safely within my easy abilities, but a little bit challenged? I hope so. All right, let's take our left foot. Cross back slow and then lift that right. Skate. Fly, one more time, slow, skate, fly, now tempo, here we go, skate, fly, skate, fly. Four more, if you please, you can always take a break when you're ready, two more, one, now double down, skate, skate, double up, fly, fly, good, one more, Set of twos, try four, skate, three, two, fly, three, two, for four, skate, woo, and fly, ready, eight, skate, eight, seven, count with me, how many, four more, three, you can do it, fly, eight, seven, six, Five, four, get ready to freeze. Woo. And freeze in your skate pose or take a curtsy or a bow. Mm. Wow, I worked hard with my legs. How about you? I felt it in my hips. If you want to get a little stretch before you continue to your chair for our next set of strength exercises, you're right. I got kind of sweaty. Sweat isn't always a good indicator though of how hard we're working. It's just a way to thermoregulate. And some of us sweat more than others, depending on temperature in your home, relative humidity, and other factors, of course. But you must be able to talk and go at your own pace. I am really needing a sip of water. I hope you are have some good clean drinking water on hand. Take your time as you step to the side, lean to the side, and have a bit. It's much harder to overhydrate than it is to get dehydrated, but it is possible. So, you know, you can talk with your doctor or your registered dietitian about how much is right for you. But in general, the good old eight glasses of liquid per day. There is water in our food that we eat. There is water in tea and coffee, but they tend to have a um, dehydrating effect sometimes. Or So, you know, you know you and how much caffeine is tolerable. If not, and your body's changing, talk to your doctor about it. You can do telemedicine safely from home these days and um, work with, uh, did I say a registered dietitian? There's a great group of, they happen to be all gals in town, Clem and Time. I highly recommend it for us seniors, our body's needs are changing. And especially in the winter when we may not be getting out as much and getting vitamin D, and we may not be eating as many fresh foods. So your insurance might pay for it. It's worth checking their website. Clem, C-L-E-M, and Thyme, like the herb, T-H-Y-M-E. And tell them Lynn told you about them. All right, time to get our weights. Yeah, registered dietitians aren't making fad diet recommendations. They're they are highly educated experts that work with you and your body's individual demands um, to recommend not only a diet that's healthy with regard to balance, but what teaching you how to prepare your foods more healthfully, talking to you about when and what you like to eat. Because diet is kind of like exercise. It only works well if we do it, right? So let's do it. Um, let me check my cheat sheet. We're going to do some, some pretty serious work here. Um, we're going to do a combination of a one-armed row 
with a side saddle seated position, which would put us in a good position to add a lunge, but that's a pretty big deal. So let's set ourselves up for success if you feel like lunging is within your safe, comfortable abilities. You're gonna come on over to the right side of your chair and ease that right leg back a bit. It, ideally, you should be able to tuck that toe under. That requires a lot of flexibility on the foot and your arthritis or other things might not allow it. You could turn it out, but this is preferable. And you don't have to lunge. You do want to put that weight in your right hand. You do want to elongate your spine and then hinge slightly forward and support with your left hand on your lap. And all you're gonna do is keep the body long and strong and solid as you exhale and roll, keeping the wrist straight and the weight or the jug very close to your body. Think of squeezing your shoulder blades behind you and keeping the back long and still and strong. Now, you can get a lot of leg work digging your heel on that front foot into the ground and digging the toes and the ball of the foot in. You can pretend to get up see how that feels. If it doesn't feel good, stay seated. If it's all right, you're gonna do a lunge. Small, medium, keeping the back long and strong, or tap down, stand up, sit down, fight, fight, fight. This is a big whole body exercise. And how you pick things up in your activities of daily living. I bet a lot of you were like me, working hard in your yard with all this great weather. If I hadn't been doing these exercises, I would be probably flat on my back in bed. <laughs> all right, we're gonna get the other side. But first, let's give our legs a rest. Coming to the edge of our seat, we're gonna activate our abdominals by tucking the tailbone under, tightening or bracing, and we're going to hold that jug in our left hand, cradling with our right. And we're going to pull the navel in and rotate to look back and lean back towards that left shoulder. And then we're going to sit up a little and look off over the, the right. Rotate and look and press to perhaps the lowest of three shelves. And if everything felt good, lean back, rotate sit up and rotate and press this is a cross chop if everything feels fine you can totally extend that arm remember sharp sudden shooting pain is definitely not okay stop readjust substitute a different exercise or just wait so we're doing an abdominal crunch leaning back pulling in and rotation, looking over that left shoulder and then looking up and off to the right. And a shoulder press, which is also working our triceps. And you should be feeling about done. But we can, we've got more endurance in our core than we do in our upper body. So let's, let's try the right arm, rack the weight close to the body. Pull the navel in, tuck the tailbone under, and lean back, rotating to look over your right shoulder. Sit up and kind of press to the lowest of three shots. Pull that navel in. Maybe the second, if that feels good, your range of motion is fine. Press all the way up. You could support. If you've got a heavy weight or you're not able to control it, you can support with the left hand. Maybe you've got just the right amount of strength and weight to do it without that support. But pull the navel in and exhale each time you power up. So abdominals working, deltoids working, triceps working. But we gave our legs a break. So we can set up slightly over to the left side of our chair. With that weight in our left hand and getting that left leg back, you could support on the chair or your leg. Long, strong torso, hinging forward, bracing on the lap. Breathe, the wrist is straight as you keep the back straight and roll. 
Reach on a diagonal, squeeze the shoulder blades together behind you. Now you can see how it feels to dig your heel, that front foot into the floor, and the ball of the foot, toes in the back, and try to get up. You can hold on to your chair if you like for more stability. You can lunge up as you row and then halfway down or further actually tapping your hip on the chair and coming all the way up or you can stay seated the whole time it's up to you do your best maybe two more wow that was a that was a pretty good strength set so when we do lunges we're working the backs of the legs on the rear leg, I'm sorry, the front leg and the front on the rear. Anyway, you can be sure when I've designed these sets of exercises, I'm trying to balance all of the major skeletal muscles. Balance. I need a water break. We are going to balance all this more uh, cardiovascular and strength work with some slowing down gradually, mindfully, and working a little bit with some balance standing that's less vigorous. So if you've been seated the whole time uh, because you can't move around uh, at a lively pace, this is gonna be a much slower pace and you're welcome to try it. We're gonna do a balance progression, build a little strength in our calves and feet and ankles, and then stretch those same groups. Let's try, if you would, over here on the right side. Let me check my time here. We're going to be right in best posture, crown of the head stretching up, ears over, shoulders over, hips, knees over, ankles, and able to touch the chair. We're going to strengthen the feet and the ankles in our neutral stance. Coming up to our tippy toes as best we can and holding. Maybe squeeze your gluteals and holding as you breathe. Then come down into our triple flexion a little bit. If that was easy, bring your feet right smack dab together and try it again. Ears over shoulders, over hips, over knees. Up as high as you can, got your chair. Squeeze your gluteals and then come down into triple flexion. If that was easy and you wanna make it a little more challenging, come to a tandem or a staggered stance. Let's take our left foot in front of our, I'm sorry, our right foot in front of our left. You can go back to the neutral stance or the narrow stance if you like. Ears over shoulders, over hips, over knees, and up as high as you can on your tiptoes. Balancing, holding and breathing. And then squeezing our gluteals and coming down into our triple flexion. We could try that the other way with the left foot in front of the right. We're doing calf strengthening, ankle and feet strengthening balance exercises, very simply. But we progress by making the narrow, the base narrower and narrower for those who could do it. Keep your hand near your chair as you pull up to the tippy toes, the balls of the feet. Squeeze your hips, your gluteals tucked under. Breathe as you balance. And then come down into your triple flexion. Now, how can we make that extremely more challenging, but safely? Because we always have to make sure that the benefits outweigh the risks. We could be behind our chair. I'm gonna come over to the left so you can see my feet. And explain to you, you have three safety nuts. We're going to close our eyes to challenge our proprioceptive cells and our inner ear as part of our balance equation. Because most human beings are dominant visually, but we have to do this safely. We're gonna have opening our eyes as safety net number one. We're gonna have grabbing our chair, safety net number two. So your hands have to be right there next to your chair. And safety net number three will be stepping out. So. You can be behind your chair, that's best, or off to the left side. 
and be in your neutral stance with your ears over your shoulders, over your hips. Keep at least one, preferably two hands, right on the chair, best posture. And see how it feels to just close your eyes, standing with your weight fully in your feet. You could open your eyes anytime you feel. Your hand must be a millimeter away from the chair, so you could touch the chair or open your eyes. And last but not least, you can step out into a wide, uh, more stable, lower stance if you feel like you're losing your balance. If you like, you can try that. Best posture, eyes closed, and come up to your tippy toes. Oh, that makes it extremely harder. Remember, you can open your eyes, breathe. You can grab your chair, breathe, or you could step out or do any of those three safety nets. How would you progress that? You'd make your narrower base. Now this is hard, so promise me. When you practice at home, you do it safely. Eyes wide open when you need. Sturdy grab bar chair, hand a millimeter away, and stepping out with practice. So if you want, narrow stance, best posture. You could close your eyes, keep your hand close to the chair, and come up to your tippy toes. Remember, you could open your eyes anytime you like. You could touch your chair, keep your hand close, or you could step out. That was really challenging for me, but if you wanted to take it a step further, because your balance is really keen and your abilities are really good, then you'd go to your staggered stance. But before we sit down, let's stretch those hard working calves and ankles and feet. I'm going to turn sideways behind my chair. You're welcome to grab a wall or a door or a firm column in your home and gradually get your foot back behind you, pace the heel on the ground and lean forward. And ease into that other leg. Gradually taking your foot back, maintaining your balance, and pasting your heel on the ground. Leaning forward and breathing. Hmm. Some of our flexibility exercises don't take very long, but we must do them regularly. Some of our strength exercises don't take too long, but in order to get the best effect, we must do them regularly, two or preferably three times a week to do strength exercise. Every day for something flexibility-wise, but just moving our body makes us more flexible. Have you ever noticed that? That's one of the best effects you can get almost immediately from your exercise. And you know what the other best effect for me and I hope for you, is that I sleep a little better when I've exercised um, that day. I worry a little less and food tastes better. I have a better appetite and I'm more relaxed in my emotional well-being and my mental well-being. So exercise is good medicine. So are a lot of other things. Laughter is good. Crying is okay too, but don't be all alone with any one emotion for too long. Reach out, connect. We can still be social, yet be socially distanced and safe. It will be a little harder now that we're moving into colder weather, but we can do it. We can do it together. We've got great resources in our local community, the Senior Center. Info is gonna be on that end screen. Some of that may change, so stay tuned to Community Access Yellow Springs on Channel 5 of your Spectrum Cable TV or on their YouTube channel, Community Access Yellow Springs. It's got all kinds of resources with local news and updates from the governor, for instance, about um, the COVID-19 and what we should be paying attention to, information so much. If you want to take a little bit off of your mind or off of your shoulders, sit back in your chair 
and we're going to just breathe because just like our flexibility and our strength we don't need a lot of it but we need to work on it regularly stress reduction so take good care of your body and let's start by just paying attention to your heart center to your lungs or just bring your attention to your breathing Resting your hands in your lap. Breathe in, ideally through your nose, and ideally exhaling through your mouth with a relaxed exhale and a refreshing and very energizing yet relaxed inhale. Relaxing the abdomen expanding the lowest part of the lungs and then the mid part and then the upper part and as we exhale feeling the converse from the top to the bottom know that each time you breathe in filling your lungs from the bottom to the top we get fresh oxygen miraculously to every cell of our body as we exhale we release co2 and other things we don't need both physiologically and if we choose mentally emotionally to just release on that exhale Feel the belly and the ribs and the chest expand in that order. Exhale, chest lowers, ribs stitch slightly back together and the abdomen presses the stale air out quite effortlessly. And just like that with Oh, three to five minutes of mindful breathing exercises or meditation or prayer or whatever relaxing slowing yourself down and bringing your attention to inward that's a very good brief but very beneficial practice we can give to ourselves um, and we do need that balance so Let's turn to the side and get a good stretch on the fronts of these thighs. Leaning forward, hinging that left leg back, gradually inhaling up, 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 lengthening the crown of the head and maybe the arm upward. When you're ready to exhale, going at your own pace, you can stretch through the left side of your body. Maybe reaching for where the wall meets the ceiling behind your right shoulder and easing out of that. Let that knee drift down to the ground and you'll feel a good opener on the front of the leg and the hip. We'll get the other side, but before we do, let's get a chest opener. Inhaling. Opening, palms back, shoulders, chest, spine opening, lifting your heart as your breath rises to your chest, and then exhale, interlace your fingers, tuck your tailbone under, chin to, and stretch. Oh, that felt good. Last stretch. So, going forward, to exercise patience, patience with yourself. It's okay to be feeling a little bit tired of being shut in, sometimes not as connected, not able to go to see family in far off places because of the COVID concerns maybe unable to safely gather with your church and enjoy the fellowship that you had been doing. But there are ways to connect 
with your family and with your church and your social groups. If you use the most powerful muscle in your body, it's not really a muscle, but your mind. Think of all of the things that we can do and plan on how to do it safely and connect with your friends. And if you have a small circle of friends in a wide circle as you visit and you wear your mask and wash your hands and monitor your symptoms, I, I feel that that's so important because the benefits are going to outweigh the risks if we use our mind. The most important part of our body to remain flexible is our mind. So keep it safe, keep it simple, be smart. See you next time.